guys, look, my hair is like, this is the true like in between retwist state. This is why I don't trip about my retwist anymore because I know eventually my hair is gonna look like this and that's fine. Like it is what it is. Actually retwist days tomorrow, but even if it wasn't, I would be okay. Hey loves, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Day and if you like videos like this one, Please go ahead and subscribe and join the lovely family because you are going to love it here. And if you have been here, thank you guys so, so much for coming back to see me. Um, so today's video is going to be all about combining your locks. Oh my gosh, everyone goes through this. Like everybody I feel like has thought about this at some point, whether it's combining one, two locks together or combining your whole head everybody has thought about this if you're in your lock journey and i went through it i really did with my first um set of locks um as many of you know this is my second set and in my first set i feel like i made every mistake that i could possibly make and i'm here to kind of correct my past mistakes and to give my advice to those of you who are starting your lock journey i combined quite a few of my last um, set of locks. I never did like a whole row or anything. Um, it was kind of sporadic, like one here, one there. You know, I, I had two, a couple in the back, um, a, a few in the front because that's where the thinner ones were. Um, so I have a lot of experience with it. Some of the locks I, um, I was able to actually see combine and form into one lock. And then some of the locks I kind of took them out as they were, you know, moving slowly to combining together and i just want to talk about this topic really quickly i know it's something that is not covered a lot now when you are combining your locks you have to think about and this is especially for those who are thinking about combining their whole head of locks like if this is you you really got to pay attention to this one you have to think about your intentions behind combining your locks People combine their hair for lots of reasons. You know, sometimes you just wanna combine one or two locks that you think is a little bit thin and, you know, attach it to another lock that's a bit stronger. Um, or sometimes you just want a thicker look, you know, and you're deciding you want to combine your entire head of locks. Or maybe one lock is actually very weak and you don't think it's gonna make it and you wanna combine it to another lock in order to save that lock. If you are trying to retwist, maybe you have a thin lock, like this one up here is really thin for me, okay? And say I'm like, oh, I wanna, you know, I don't think this lock is that strong, I wanna combine it to another one next to it. Okay, when you do that, you know, there's not really gonna be that many complications except for the fact that you have to be careful about which lock you choose to combine it with. I did that a lot with my last journey. I had a lot up front that I just, I wasn't happy with the sizing. I didn't really plan for my lock journey. I just kind of threw my locks in and called it a day, um, which has its pros and cons. But my hair, when I combined it, I almost felt like I was combining it to the wrong locks, if that makes sense. Because sometimes after I combined the locks, the locks at the root began to hurt. It became a little bit painful because my locks I felt like were pulling in the wrong direction and my roots were pulling in the wrong direction. Um, and when it came time for me to retwist, I would retwist the entire, you know, combined lock section at the roots. But for some reason, it just wasn't meshing. It just wasn't working out. And I'm not a professional, so maybe I just didn't know what I was doing, but it did cause me a lot of pain. The method I used was I would just twist them together and let them lock on their own. Um, I know some people have a method where you literally open up one of the new growth sections in your lock, all right? And then you take another lock and you insert that into the base of the lock and then you twist them down. And I have tried that before too. That was cool. Let me undo that. Well, like I said, sometimes it worked out, sometimes it didn't. But I do want to say this though. If you are combining your locks because you don't like the size of your locks, you want fuller locks and you want a fuller look, I would really consider just restarting your journey. Now, here's why. When you are combining your locks, guys, it's not like a quick process at all because if you're thinking about it, you're trying to combine locked hair, tough hair, you know what I mean? Like it's not loose hair that can just kind of come together and form in a couple months. Combining locks takes way longer 
than starting your locks fresh, like way longer. Um, I remember some of the locks that I combined, it had been like a year and a half and they still had not combined together yet. Or they will combine at the root because the new growth is at the root. And then you will end up with the end of your hair being like a, what they call a two-headed dragon, where it's like split at the end and one lock at the top, which sometimes I honestly thought that was a cute look. It's not cute, you know, when it's not your intention though. Um, so I don't, I just, I don't want you guys to jump and thinking it's easy. Like, oh, I just got my locks done. You know, it's been such and such months. I'm just gonna combine them all. Like it's not a quick process. It really does take a long time. So I would recommend that if you are like new in your journey, absolutely just take them out and start over. Like for sure. Hey, don't be scared to restart your lock journey. That's something I experienced in my first journey. Like I was really actually scared to start over. Like I, I didn't want to cut my hair. I thought I was going to be ugly with my hair cut. And um, I thought my locks, you know, not, not were not like a part of me, but actually made me. And you know, that I, I wasn't gonna be beautiful without them. Now, when you get to that point, like that's bondage, you know what I mean? So I had to free myself from that, that way of thinking. Um, but I remember speaking to one of my friends and her locks were just, they were just so, she combed them out now, but they were so full, so thick, so beautiful. And anyone that knows me knows like my dream would be to have these just, like really thick, full locks, like less than 30 in my head. And I remember talking to her about it and she was like, oh, why don't you just start over? And I was like, tuh, I can't start over. It's too late for me now. I just have to live the rest of my life with this set. Like I was just, I was crazy. Now that I'm actually started over into my, you know, second journey, I, I almost wish that I would have done it sooner because I, I really was not satisfied. Um, and when you're not satisfied with the size of your locks, you know, and you're not happy with your hair, then it, it probably is okay to start over because also combining your locks doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna get the desired look that you want. So that's something to think about. Your hair will look like two strands with, you know, for a very long time before they combine. This is coming from somebody with 4C hair, like I have very coarse hair and still my locks took forever. They do have methods where you can like insert string into your locks, you take two locks, and you crochet them together. I never did that because I didn't really like the idea of stringing my hair and the fact that like, you know, the thread, I felt like there was no thread that would match my hair perfectly. I'm sure there's some that that's close. Um, but these are just all things to consider. I, I'm telling you guys, I don't have all the answers, but I have experience. Um, and these are the things you need to consider before you go combining multiple locks. You know what I mean? If you're doing one, you know, two, make sure it doesn't hurt and it's fine. But if you're thinking about combining your entire head of locks, I would think, you know, I would think about that for a, a while because by the time your entire head of locks combines, I know you probably could have just started another journey. Let me know what you guys think below though. Like what would be your reasoning for combining your locks? Um, if you have done it before, were you successful? Like I said, I was successful with a couple of them. I had a couple too, I had a dragons and I was okay with that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much as always for tuning into my channel and joining me and I will see you in my next video.